bought this building, people thought we were nuts. You know, why would you invest in that building in downtown Johnson City? Like, there's nothing going on down there. I said, hey, guess what? We should, we should open a brewery. And he's like, that's a terrible idea. And then we did. When I saw this space and I came into this building, I just knew it had to be saved. It had to be a theater again. We were musicians in New York City. And then she had the crazy idea to open a restaurant. Nothing was happening in downtown Binghamton. And we truly had blind faith. I never imagined that I'd stay here after college, but I've been inspired by what's happened here in the city over the last few years. Every day we come into our office, we are writing the story of Binghamton. I'm brewing beer. Started brewing on the weekends and opened the brewery. Now I brew every single day. I grew up in Endicott. I do love this area and I wanted to, to bring it back. And I think we're doing it one beer at a time. The Binghamton area was settled by people because the rivers came together. Binghamton, Endicott, and Johnson City for a long time have been known as the Triple Cities. They used to have the baseball team, the Triple. It's a triple play. Line Binghamton and Johnson one City one and Endicott, they're all unified by uh, Main Street, they all have the, a shared history. The history in this area is amazing. I mean, Endicott is the home of IBM. To IBM, it's all in a day's work. This was a place that was just bubbling with new technology. IBM started here, but also before that, Endicott Johnson Shoe Company. They pumped out a lot of shoes back in the day, like 40,000 pair a week. It was the biggest shoe company in the world. And he was very civic-minded, and what he decided was to create a community. And so he built hospitals, he built parks, and he put in all of the carousels. We're the carousel capital of the world. He even built what they called EJ homes. With their workers, they would build a house for them to live in and then finance it for them. The hillsides full of homes that you see were built by Endicott Johnson. Endicott and Johnson City are the square deal towns. The arch that has the home with the square deal on it. EJ workers erected that. Now we say work-life balance. So it would be funny to see that up on the arch, home of the work-life balance. They call that home of the square deal. The cities were thriving, and you can tell from the, the architecture and the care and thought that was put into all of the buildings here. The buildings here are beautiful. The shoe business started shrinking, and then eventually the factories shut down. They became empty. The closing of Endicott Johnson was devastating. IBM, tens of thousands of people in the area worked for. So in the 80s, when they shuttered their doors here and transitioned out, it was devastating. You know, we would see the headlines, you know, 2,000 people being laid off. 5,000 people being laid off. 2006, we got slammed with a 500-year flood, and then a few years later, we got hit with another 500-year flood. It was it was really tough times. That was the one-two punch. And I think a lot more people left after that. We started our company to help restore our community, actually, and we started off with a flood house on the north side of Johnson City. And we just kept going from there. 250 Main Street is the center part of Main Street. Uh, we're part of a very historical row. We're extremely optimistic what Johnson City is going to look like in 10 years. We see it being a beautiful Main Street with all kinds of shops and restaurants. If you walk down the street, you'll see the pharmacy school being built. And people are like, you think it's really gonna happen? And it is happening, and it's there. We are revitalizing the area immediately next to the new pharmacy school to create a performing arts center in Johnson City. We have two historic buildings that we are rehabilitating. So it's the Goodwill Theater building, which is from 1920, and then also the old fire station, which is from 1890. 
we have the Shore Family Firehouse stage in operation now. And then eventually we will connect these two structures. We think that we have this critical mass for what is going to be an intersection of health, science, and the arts. And I think from that, some incredible things can happen. We are Binghamton Brewing Company. We were founded in 2011. We're very excited to be located in this 100-year-old fire station, uh, Endicott Johnson & Company Fire Prevention Station Number 1. I want to just we focus on having a spectrum of beers, so there's a, a great range, but each of the beers themselves are unique from each other. We have a staff of six people. You know, we're continuing to grow. Uh, we're adding a restaurant. We want to build a larger brewery. We're extremely optimistic about Johnson City because we've seen this specific pattern of revitalization in Binghamton, where they invested in the, the infrastructure. Binghamton University put a, a campus there that drove housing and then that followed on as businesses. Johnson City has exactly the same template. You didn't used to see people walking on the streets of downtown Binghamton, and now you do. What I'm doing with my life is I am bringing people together everybody having a great time and connecting. And I think Lost Dog Cafe is kind of a hub for that in downtown Binghamton. More and more restaurants have opened. We've seen gradually businesses opening. We kind of watch this whole thing unfold before our eyes, you know, and get bigger and bigger and bigger. Fortress Development Group was created and founded by Binghamton University alumni. Fortress Development owns and manages 50 properties across Binghamton and Johnson City. There are so many beautiful spaces that are currently not being used to their full capacity, but what we have here is the opportunity, the space to grow. Johnson City, Endicott, and Binghamton all offer a unique cost profile for an entrepreneur. The cost of entry is still very low, given where we are in the cycle of redeveloping the city. And it's just a really vibrant place to be. This area offers the best of both worlds in terms of an urban lifestyle and a nature-oriented lifestyle. You can get both of those things at your feet, at your front door. We have very defined downtowns that are human scale and walkable. You're here at the North Brewery, located in Endicott, New York. Uh, we started the brewery five years ago started just me, now I employ eight people, and we've been going strong ever since. There's a lot of empty buildings where you could have someone that come in that has a dream, and they can open it up, and with hard work and That's determination, hard work, right? you can see it work. I mean, like I said, we started five years ago with just me, and now we've grown. We're distributing it all over New York State. Our history is is really founded on large companies. But what we see now is a, a vital resurgence of small businesses. And anybody who opens a business in this area or in the greater Binghamton area, you're part of a revitalization that's going to come back. It's starting to come back now. Together, we have made a huge difference here, and we can continue to make a huge difference here. It's, it's, there's nothing like watching a place blossom before your eyes. It just is really gratifying to know that you did something, you were a part of this, you know? It has the potential of being amazing and unique. How often are you able to be a part of that? <laughs>